Stat Rollers, Bill with Roll Stats, and today I thought it would be fun to go through and unbox and flip through this. Right, this. What's in the box? Well, spoiler, I, if you look at the title, you know already that it's low fantasy gaming. I'm still excited because I love to get packages in the mail, and I love sharing the unboxing with you guys. It's been really hard. I got this, I don't know, three or four days ago, and I've been wanting to open it up, but I've saved it. I've saved it for the unboxing and flip through with you staff rollers. That's how much you guys mean to me. This is low fantasy gaming from Pickpocket Press. I ordered it from DM's Guild. Got here really quickly. I ordered it last week. I don't remember exactly which day, but it got here in two days, which was amazing, right? I like you who you can't complain about that sort of shipping time i saw a review of this game system on the questwise youtube channel last week if you guys are not subscribed to questwise do yourself a favor pause this video go subscribe to questwise right now and then come back and watch the rest of the video he really did a phenomenal review he actually has a series there's more than one video on low fantasy gaming on the system itself and really just from hearing him do his review that's what convinced me to go ahead and make this purchase on dm skill this sounds like my kind of system this sounds like this system was created specifically for me or at least a person with my game style but both running the game as well as playing the game i really am a low fantasy guy and i don't necessarily mean a low fantasy system my gaming style tends towards a lower fantasy style i don't necessarily prefer really high fantasy campaigns where the player characters are so super heroic that they can never even be touched there's no threat of death and they simply charge through everything that you throw at them to me that's boring right like and i get it if that's your style that's your style and and, you know that's a valid gaming style but for me that's just a little bit boring not just as a dm to run but that's really boring as a player for me i i want to be challenged i want to face difficulty i want to overcome obstacles that's kind of the point of the game but anyway low fantasy gaming sounds like it appeals to that style it sounds like it appeals to that sort of player it sounds like that it appeals to that sort of dm it promises at least based on the questwise review and what they say about it on their website it promises to be the perfect system for me so i really can't wait to get into it by the way i did order this from dm skilled i'll leave a link down below in the description if you're looking to purchase it you can click the link down below full disclosure though i am a dm skilled affiliate uh if you do purchase low fantasy gaming or actually anything from dm skilled through the link down below i will get a small store credit at no additional cost to you though no absolutely no additional cost but i will get a small store credit that i'll really use to buy more items to review on this channel more items like you see back there on my shelves and more items like this so i just wanted to let you know that but anyway after watching the review from questwise i knew i had to have this book on my shelf right it legitimately promises the exact game that i'm looking for the exact game that i prefer so again low fantasy gaming is published by pickpocket press and it's a tabletop rpg that's built for gritty adventurers with low to moderate magic settings that's that's my game right like that's my style that is truly the game that i want to play in that's the game that i enjoy i enjoy that gritty struggle for survival i enjoy overcoming almost insurmountable odds and huge obstacles again both both as a DM and as a player, I truly prefer that style of play. To me, it's just more exciting, it's more fun, it's just more rewarding for me. And, and, and honestly, I think it's more rewarding for my players as well, but you know, that's that's on them. I think the very act of survival should be a reward in and of itself. It makes the players feel like they've accomplished something as opposed to just having something handed to them. And it sounds like the low fantasy gaming system is gonna fit that style perfectly. So honestly, I, I, I can't wait to open it up. The folks over at Pick pocket press promised that it has simple rules dangerous combat and flexible pc customizations honestly they had me at simple rules and dangerous combat that's me that's my style that like uh, you you had me at that everything else to me is just gravy right so again they're saying that the system is designed for short episodic adventures in a sandbox again sounds just like heldenwell it is perfect perfect for me and they're saying that all of the tables and mechanics that you would need to run that style of play is included in the game system for easy dm improvisation again totally my style this sounds like my game this sounds like it was made for me the folks at pickpocket press said hey we should really design a game for bill over at roll stats i like he just seems like a great guy let's design a game just for him that's what this sounds like to me so uh, what i will say is okay i don't know that it delivers on that promise right i haven't even opened the package let alone read the book yet so this is not a full review of low fantasy gaming at this point this is 
really just an unboxing and a flip through. I'll give you my general impressions of the book itself, the artwork included, and, and you know, some of the major mechanics. But once I have a chance to read the actual book, once I've gone through the system a couple times, I'll upload a full review of Low Fantasy Gaming and give you my true thoughts on it. And whether the folks at Pickpocket Press did deliver on their promises, what do I think of the game itself? How is it to play through? How is it to run? I'll give you a full review. Again, for today though, this is just an unboxing and a flip through. But honestly, it delivers on half of what it promises. It sounds like the system for me. So actually, if you have this system, if you have Low Fantasy Gaming, if you've played it, if you've run through it, either as a DM or as a player, hit me up in the comments down below and let me know what you think. What do you think of Low Fantasy Gaming? Does it deliver on what it promises? Is it as good as I think it's going to be? Really, hit me up in the comments down below and let me know. And subscribe to the channel. Become a stat roller. It's a great community. You know, my favorite part of this community is the comments down below. I love to hear your opinion. I love to go back and forth about different D&D theory and discussion. And I, the comments are the best part of this community. So subscribe, become a stat roller, like this video, share it with your friends, share it with your gaming group, do all of those YouTube things, right? Like let's really grow the stat roller community. I need you guys to help me. So please subscribe, like, share, do all the YouTube things, but enough shameless self-promotion. Let's bust this box open. Finally, I'm dying to get into this and let's flip through it and see what we think. Okay, you guys, let's crack this open. Uh, as you can tell, it's packaged pretty well. <laughs> oh yeah, so here it is. So I ordered the Low Fantasy Gaming Deluxe Edition, which is a hard copy and full color. I think it'll last. I think it's put together really well. This is one of the better print-on-demand books that uh, I've received through Drive-Thru RPG. Although, to be honest, all of the print-on-demand stuff that I've ordered through Drive-Thru RPG is pretty good. Like I was saying, it is Pickpocket Press. Author is Stephen J. Grodzicki. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Stephen J. Grodzicki and Pickpocket Press 2019. So we have the table of contents really breaking down what's in the book. It looks like it starts with what is low fantasy gaming, creating a character, the different attributes, the races, the classes, unique features, skills, party bonds, equipment, doing things, combat, some injuries and healing, magic, advancement, game master tools, which is always appreciated, uh, uh, goes through exploration, hirelings, madness, mass battle, monsters, morale, and NPC reactions. I love to see a morale mechanic. I, I really think that the morale mechanic is phenomenal. Rival adventures, tavern brawls, traps, treasure, midlands, and then some uh, separate appendices. So we'll see what those look like. This really breaks down what is low fantasy gaming. Simple rules, right on. Fast and engaging combat. I'm in. Dangerous and gritty, without question. A quasi-realistic world, that sounds really cool. Treacherous magic, bold adventurers, open sandbox, and generic rule set. Again, this really describes my perfect game system. I, I, I really can't describe to you how how much this game appeals to me. This is really my sort of game. And then it looks like it's gonna run through some core features of the game, uh, how to play it, game dice. My guess is that if you're familiar with a D20 system, if you're familiar with a role-playing game, that you're gonna be fine um, playing this particular game. I'll also say that the artwork is really, really fantastic in this particular book. I am totally digging the artwork, attributes, luck, and luck check. It runs through the different classes. So from my understanding, there's nine classes within the low fantasy gaming system. Uh, artificer, barbarian, bard, cultist, fighter, monk, ranger, rogue, and magic user. And really only two of those involve magic, which is great for me. So this really goes through what those different classes are, a breakdown of what they look like, you know, their different abilities and what they can do. Some unique features, a bunch of tables, the different types of equipment, melee weapons, armor, how to do things, injuries and healing, more tables. You know, I'm a sucker for a book of tables. Like, this is just phenomenal to me. The, diff the spell list, the spell descriptions, I gotta say, 
I am impressed with the artwork and the layout of this book. Here's what I will say. For a system that claims to be rules light, it is a pretty thick book. I guess what I'm saying is it's thicker than I thought it was going to be, but it looks like it's packed with really useful information that is going to be helpful to both players as well as DMs. There are a ton of tables in this book. I love to see that. I love tables. I love random tables specifically that you can roll on. To me, that just screams old school and it's definitely my sort of game. The other cool thing that I really love about this system or or at least that appeals to me is that there's a 12th level max right like what i mean is characters can only achieve 12th level it eliminates that overpowered spell user that over overpowered magic user it keeps the monsters scary it keeps the game dangerous it doesn't become too easy for your characters to just destroy anything that you throw at them, they really have to think and become creative and figure out ways to overcome those specific obstacles. It, it, it just really works for me. And there are unique features within this system. So what I mean by that is every third level, uh, you get to design your own PC ability, uh, You know, obviously with your DM's approval, but you get to determine what your character does, what they can achieve. And if you don't wanna make your own, there's 36 examples included in the book that you can either choose from or you can roll randomly which is really 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 cool this really allows you to own your character and be unique you you the player get to decide exactly what <laughs> defines your character as opposed to allowing your particular class or race define your character i i just think that's a really cool concept i can't wait to see how that works in actual playthrough and then there's a skills section. The skills section provides access to a level-based reroll pool, which I think is a really cool concept because it smooths out the fickleness of D20 uh, probability distribution. I think this is a great concept and I can't wait to see how this plays out in the game. Willpower and perception attributes really sort of replace uh, wisdom and then diminishing luck attributes replace saving throws and powers. Another cool concept are party retreat and chase rules, which really allow the DM to kind of throw whatever makes sense at the party. Instead of worrying about balanced encounters, you really get to throw whatever you'd like at the the party uh, which just makes more sense right like the world is not balanced the world is not fair and counters shouldn't be balanced there's also a mechanic in here that allows five minute short rests which allow the pcs to attempt willpower checks to recover hit points and class abilities you know that encourages the party to push on rather than camp right so everyone is always pushing to take a long rest take a long rest take a long rest this really negates that and it's in the best interest of the party to continue moving on here's the thing though right like long rest take 1d6 days or well it could take 1d4 in a safe environment but generally a long rest takes 1d6 days that's much more realistic that's grittier that offers more of a challenge to your players than simply taking a eight hour rest and regaining all of your abilities and all of your hit points that doesn't make sense as i was saying earlier the tables this book is jam-packed with dm tables right so tables that you can either choose from or randomly roll from we're talking about tables for weather tables for exploration events, tables for random encounters, tables for traps, tables for treasure, tables for disease and madness, tables for tavern brawls, which is really cool, tables for hirelings, tables for mass battle, tables for naval combat, tables for NPC quirks, if you wanna make your, if you wanna add a little something something to your NPCs, tables for rival adventurers, tables for black powder, and more. This book is legitimately jam-packed with tables that you can use, and I love to see that, because honestly, have the fun is in the random rolling on these particular tables it just makes the game more fun for you as the dm to run and more fun for the players to go through plus over 130 monsters right including effective boss monster options your player characters are not going to be bored by the encounters that they come across or the monsters that they encounter uh, to me this is what really makes this book stand out this is phenomenal it also includes a uh, character sheet so illustrated color and black and white character sheet but also there's form fillable pdf character sheets that are available on drive through rpg i'll put a link to those in the description as well you know form fillable character sheets are actually pretty cool it makes life easier it, it, it saves on printing costs and saves the planet so i'm all i'm always down for a game that offers form fillable character sheets and i think the best part about this system right what i love about this system so much and what drew me in is obviously that it's gritty obviously that it's low fantasy obviously that it's low magic but the best part of this system for me is 
is that the rules are essentially guidelines. And that's really how I play my game. That's how I play all of my games. That's how I play 5e. The rules are guidelines. They're not written in stone. So I guess what I'm saying is rulings over rules, rulings over rules always. So if there's a particular rule in this system that you don't like, remove it. You're not only encouraged to remove it, you're told to remove it. This is a rulings over rules book. And, and I love those types of systems. I, to me, that's the kind of game that I prefer. That's the game that I like to run. That's the game that I like to play in. That's just D&D &D to me, right? Like that is RPGing to me. These books, these books that we collect, these systems that we play in, these games that we love, every game, every system, should you should feel free as a dungeon master to make it your own. And as a player, you should welcome the customization factor. You should welcome the fact that your DM is, is adjusting this game for your play style, for his play style. Everyone at the table matters. And if a rule doesn't make sense, then don't use it. It's just that simple. Okay guys, so that was the unboxing and flip through of Low Fantasy Gaming from Pickpocket Press. I don't know what you guys thought, but I really am impressed with not only the quality of this book, but the contents of this book. Again, I haven't read it yet. You know, after I read it, my thoughts may change, but it doesn't appear that I have any real red flags other than, right? Uh, here's what I will say. Other than, I was thinking that this would actually be a lighter book, a smaller book. I didn't expect it to be such a weighty tome. That that might not necessarily be a bad thing for you all. Some of you might prefer a larger book. This is 281 pages. And for a system that claims to be rules light, 281 pages seems like a lot to me. But I, I, I could be, you know, I could be completely wrong on that. It could be simply that it is jam packed with tables and monsters and things of that nature. I, I haven't read it yet. I'm going to read through it and give you a uh, a full review as soon as I have. Like I said, it's going to be probably two or three weeks because it is such a large book. What I will say though is the quality of this book is fantastic. The print quality on this book is fantastic. The page quality on this book is fantastic. I have no issues with the quality of this book whatsoever. I love the artwork. I love the concept. I want to love this game. Pickpocket Press, Low Fantasy Gaming, I want to love you. Please, please, please live up to your promise. I hope that this is everything that they've promised. I hope that this really is is a simple rule system with dangerous combat. That's what I'm looking for, right? I'm looking for a system that is rulings over rules and that really challenges my players. If this system is that system, I will play in this system for Ever. I'm looking for that system and I hope that this is the one. But we'll see. Uh, but you're going to have to wait until the final review for that. Again, though, if you do own Low Fantasy Gaming, if you have this either in PDF or in print, hit me up in the comments down below and let me know what you think. What do you think of this weighty tome? Does it live up to that promise of simple rules and dangerous combat? Does it live up to that gritty, almost grimdark campaign setting? You let me know. I'm dying to know. I'm going to crack this book open tonight and I'm going to start reading through it and I'll push through a review as soon as I can, as soon as that's done. But I am looking forward to hearing your comments as well. Which brings us to the part of the video where I would normally shamelessly ask for you guys to subscribe and to like and to share and do all of the YouTube things. But I'm not going to do that today. In fact, going forward, we're not going to do that anymore. Instead of asking you to like and subscribe and share and do all of those YouTube things for me, I think that since we're about building community here at Rollstats, that we're really about building the D&D community and we're about promoting D&D theory and discussion and all sorts of stuff like that, I think that from now on, I'm going to call out some YouTubers that I think that you guys should be following, right? Smaller YouTubers that are talking about D&D stuff and talking about D&D things, channels that really deserve a chance and that I think that you should follow. So today I'm going to call out the OGGM Adventures. Like, really, you guys should go check out this channel. This guy is freaking hilarious. He has a really dry sense of humor, really self-effacing, but, but, awesome like he, he talks about great stuff he has some great thoughts he has some great ideas um gm grumpy you guys know him. gm grumpy go follow the og gm adventures the link will be down in the description below he really deserves a follow i i love this guy's videos he really he legitimately makes me laugh. Go subscribe to his channel and tell him that Rollstat sent you and you're not going to be sorry. I, I don't know why this guy doesn't have more followers. He's, he is legitimately hilarious. And the thing is, he has this really dry sense of humor, but he also knows his stuff, right? He has a lot of D&D knowledge. He talks about a lot of really cool stuff. All of the things that we're talking about here, you're going to love GM Grumpy. So really, hit the link down below in the description. Go follow him, subscribe to him, tell him that Rollstat sent you, and as always, may the dice roll ever in your face.